Today, Kevin is going to do a blind taste test and I'm going to be trying uh, lingonberries. These are the Felix lingonberries and these are the Scandinavian Delights lingonberries. Now, uh, I, I had planned when I bought these to do a blind taste test. What I did not know was they're both made by the same company. So when I'm right before this video, I'm looking at the jars and it's, we'll talk about it. It's the same company though. The Felix is a 10 ounce jar and it was $4.99 at Home Goods. The Scandinavian Delights is a 13.4 ounce jar and it's $6.99 at TJ Maxx. So the prices make sense because of the size of the jar. The Felix, uh, one, tablespoon is 35 calories. Scandinavian Delights, one tablespoon is 37 calories. Um, 35 calories for 20 ounces or 37 calories for 19 ounces. So the Felix says, Felix lingonberries are a true Swedish delicacy. This jam is traditionally used with many dishes from pancakes to meats and the Swedes simply love it with their meatballs and mashed potatoes with a unique combination of sweet and tart flavors. Similar to cranberries, Felix lingonberries are a perfect and delicious complement to many everyday dishes. The Scandinavian Delights says, number one bestseller since 1984. Using a special and unique process, our spreads are produced without boiling to preserve consistency, authentic flavor, and homemade taste. Primarily grown in Europe, lingonberries were once a secret to the natives and now they're a favorite in America. These tart berries are much smaller and juicier than their distant cousin, the cranberry. Picked wild and by hand, they abound with flavor. But now both of these are made by Orkla Foods in Sweden. So both of those, and there's only one difference in the ingredients. The ingredients are lingonberries, sugar, water, and fruit pectin. In the Scandinavian Delights, exactly the same. Lingonberry, sugar, sugar, water, pectin, and locust bean gum. That's the only difference in the two. So, go ahead and put your... I'm thinking though it's gonna be just like kind of like a drink, the drink packets. Uh, you know, there's a lot of difference between the drink packets, but, but a lot of them, the well, majority of them, are made by the same company. Yeah, I told Kevin, I said, should we even do a blind taste test because they're both made by the same company? And he said, yeah, I'll think about those drink packets. Some of them you get, you absolutely love, and some of them, are they're made by the exact same company, and we don't like them at all. So this could be the difference uh, in that. So They're just the producer of it, not necessarily the recipe creator or anything like that. Right, so, so we know a lot of uh, companies um, that make, for example, pizza. They make pizza not only under their name, but they make pizza under different names that you would never even know they make the pizza for. Of course, they for. keep it secret. They keep it secret. Uh, but yes, you would not know that. So, uh, yeah, these companies aren't keeping it secret, but I'm going to open these, and then we're going to give them a try. And I'll hold up the one that Kevin's going to try first, and uh, we'll see what he thinks. Yeah, how runny is it? Um, it is, uh, it's not. Okay. Uh, right there, yeah. Point it towards me? Yep. Right. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to hit your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the skins of the berries in that, in that one. It's somewhat runny though. I mean, it's almost like a, wow, that's a tart berry. It's a very tart. It's very tart. I like the chunkiness though. I do like the, the textures of it. Mm. it. Although it's a little runny, but boy is it tart. It's it, almost like eating a, a, the skin of an orange or something without the citrus, just that bitterness. Yes, you just get the bitter. I think I would get used to it, but it is a lot uh, tartar than what I am used to. I would to. think if you mix that, if you put that on something like meat or something savory, mm -hmm. it would, it would add, that tartness would add um, something nice to it. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Hold your hand under it like you did before. Just in case. That one's sweeter. I'm not gonna do my mask off, it doesn't matter, does it? Nope. Um, makes my eyes water. Um, 
I like the second one better. Mm -hmm. it, it almost has a almost has an apple butter kind of texture. The second one did. The first one was pretty similar to that too. Um, I just don't think the second one is, was as tart. I think it was a little sweeter. They both do have the um, oh skin. The I got, skin. Yeah, I got skin mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, so you can chew on the skin afterwards. Um, I think if I were to eat these with toast, I would absolutely get used to that. They are pretty but, tart, though. Yes, they're they're very very tart. Um, very tart. So what? Which number two? Number two is the one I would actually eat because it's a little sweeter. It's not quite as tart. Mm hmm. Um, I agree with you. They're both similar. It's not something I would want. Like I would not want that with a peanut butter sandwich because I don't want sweet when I'm mm -hmm. eating peanut butter and jelly. Um, there is the difference in these is the sweet. Yeah, the level so, of sweetness. The first one I gave you was the Scandinavian okay. Delights. Uh, the second one I gave you was the Felix. Oh, well, I would get the Felix. The then. Felix, yeah. And and what is uh, too interesting? I don't. I wish I had noted the price. We bought this at Home Goods for four ninety nine. The last time we were in World Market, I noticed World Market sells this brand too. There is still, I am still left with a bitterness in oh, my yeah. mouth. Oh yeah, 100% bitter. But between the two, I do think they'd use more sugar in the Felix brand. Mm -hmm. It comes across that way. Yes. Um, but there on, is a difference. There, for yes, sure. there is a difference. So, and you like the Felix yeah, better. I am. Um, honestly though, this would not be... This would not be something I would choose. If I was presented uh, this, like if I went to, visited Sweden or Denmark or wherever and I was presented with this, I would absolutely use it on a scone. Absolutely. But for me, would it be something I would buy all the time here at home? No, because I would rather have... Uh, I'm used to overly sweet yeah. and no bitterness at all. So for me, these having that bitterness, it's just not something that I'm looking for. And I, but I bet that would, like I said, I think that would taste good on something savory. Mm -hmm. And it has a little tartness and stuff like that. Yes. I think that would be good with like meats and stuff. And I could they see meatballs. They mentioned yeah, mashed I mean, potatoes. I can't imagine on mashed potatoes because mashed potatoes are kind of bland. Kevin, like I do not like mashed, I don't eat mashed potatoes, but Kevin does. But, see, but they're kind of bland, so I can't imagine those going, but you never know. Remember but a something? meatball, you can I picture, could picture that, that over top of a meatball yeah. on top with a little tartness added to the meat. Or meat. even like little smokies. Yeah, something, I can imagine them. Anything that. you would put like a barbecue sauce on, that yeah. would probably go with it. Yeah. Yeah, so it might be better to use it with something like that, with meat, than it would be on toast. Maybe it's really not intended to put with toast because it had, does have the bitterness to it. Um, but I do think they're both really good quality. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the textures are good and everything. Yeah, so you'll have to let us know if you've tried either one, what you thought of them. And how do you use it? Yeah, how do you use it? Do you eat it normally with with toast or do you use it with meat yeah let us know uh, so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching